If you are a fan of the topics we cover, then you're no stranger to the unexplained and the unknown. We want to help uncover some of the world's most groundbreaking discoveries, from oddities of nature to ancient history and more. Every year, scientists make discoveries that leave us with more questions than answers. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at some discoveries from the North Pole to the South Pole. Deep frozen Arctic microbes are waking up. For centuries, the Arctic has hosted a diverse range of mysteries just waiting to be uncovered. In recent years, scientists have discovered that thawing permafrost is releasing microorganisms, with consequences that are still largely unknown. Within the past decade, global warming rates have outpaced scientific predictions so rapidly that scientists now believe the poles are warming four times faster than the rest of the Earth. Scientists were not expecting to see the glacial and permafrost levels that have been reported until at least 2050. What is most interesting about this rapid melting is that it has also produced new landforms in Siberia and northern Canada, called thermocast. These landforms occur when the oldest and deepest permafrost has been exposed to the air for the first time in hundreds or even thousands of years. This rapidly melting permafrost brings two important questions to mind. One, will an increase in water filtration lead to more rapid permafrost thaw? And two, if the permafrost thaws more rapidly, are there long frozen organisms inside that might be revived? At the time of this video, permafrost covers approximately 24% of Earth's surface. As more of this permafrost thaws and much more rapidly than expected, it is up to scientists to analyze the microbes and bacteria that might be within it. The balance between these microbes could play an essential part in determining future climate warming. In Siberia, a permafrost thaw in 2016 led to an anthrax outbreak that resulted in the loss of 200,000 reindeer and a child. But anthrax's resilient spores are an exception to the brutal freeze-thaw cycle that breaks down more fragile bacterial and viral pathogens. The warmer the Arctic becomes, the weirder it might get, as more microbes and long-frozen pathogens come back to life beneath the thaw. It is difficult to assess the risks without further microbial study and more accurate scientific datasets. As travel through the region increases, the likelihood of pathogen transmission also increases. And as climate change continues to transform the Arctic, the full range of consequences is yet to be revealed. Two giant icebergs broke off Antarctica. Here's what that means for the continent's health. Antarctica's Pine Island Glacier, or PIG, is one of the most closely watched pieces of ice on Earth, and it has been showing signs of climate change. It is not unheard of for large chunks of glacier to break off naturally in a process known as carving, but scientists are concerned because it seems to be happening more frequently. Scientists have said that it's most likely that climate change is to blame for this increase. According to glaciologist Adrian Luckman from Swansea University, the carving events at Pine Island Glacier are coming more frequently than they used to. Fellow glaciologist Helen Amanda Fricker from the Scripps Institution of Oceanography confirms this is a place where we know the ice shelves are thinning quite fast. It has been identified as an area that is changing rapidly. Glaciologists have raised alarm that a massive new iceberg, designated B49, may be a result of melting caused by relatively warm water eating away at the ice that surrounds the frozen continent. B49 is one of two large icebergs now floating away from Antarctica. It broke away from PIG last week, while the other, a trillion-ton beer moth dubbed A68, broke away from the Larsen Sea ice shelf on the east coast of the Antarctic Peninsula in 2017. Iceberg B49 covers 40 square miles, while the many smaller icebergs that also broke free on February 9th cover another 80 square miles. An international scientific team has just completed its first major field season on the giant Thwaites Glacier, about 200 miles from Pine Island Glacier beside the Amundsen Sea in West Antarctica. They are trying to discover why glaciers in the region are melting, 
Some scientific models predict that Antarctica's melting alone could cause sea levels to rise almost two feet by 2100, which would wreak havoc on humanity's future. No matter what happens next, we are fascinated by these events and hope to share more about them as they unfold. Researchers find a secret warm oasis beneath Antarctica's ice that could be home to undiscovered species. A study of the subglacial caves might reveal undiscovered animal or plant species living comfortably due to the heat of an active volcano. Although average year-long temperatures on Ross Island hover around minus 17 Celsius, including six months between April and September where they do not rise above minus 20 Celsius, the temperature in cave systems beneath the glaciers can reach 25 Celsius. Located around and beneath Mount Erebus, an active volcano, the caves have been hollowed out after years of steam travelling through their passages. The study of the caves, led by the Australian National University, evolved into an analysis of the soil within. Fraser revealed that it contained traces of DNA from algae, mosses and even small animals that could be living in the underground oasis. Most of the DNA, Fraser admits, is like that of species living on the surface. However, not all the sequences studied could be linked to a particular animal or plant group, meaning Fraser may be on the cusp of discovering new life forms as well. Because there are several active volcanoes in the Antarctic, co-researcher Charles Lee from the University of Waikato in New Zealand said similar unexplored subglacial cave systems could exist across the continent. The research, originally published in the international journal Polar Biology, said there are another 15 volcanoes in Antarctica that are currently active or suggest signs of recent activity. We don't know yet just how many cave systems exist around Antarctica's volcanoes, or how interconnected these subglacial environments might be," he said. Co-author Laurie Connell, a professor from the University of Maine, shared her colleague's excitement but said the DNA evidence doesn't prove anything. The next step is to explore the caves themselves, hoping to find the living proof the team needs. If they exist, it opens the door to an exciting new world. For millennia, humanity has been defined and shaped by the world around us. As the natural world grows and evolves, so too do we as a species. Looking back, it is incredible to see how far we have come. Looking forward, who knows what other exciting discoveries and changes lie in store. But what do you make of these three discoveries and what could be revealed in the ice? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.